Good afternoon and welcome to St. Ambrose. Our opening song is number 544, Sing a Joyful Song. <coughs> and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to, to my brothers and sisters, sisters and that I am greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my greed, and for the sake of my brothers and sisters, and for the sake of my brothers and sisters, through my fault, through my fault, through my sisters of God. Therefore, I have to bless the merit of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel Mahola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elisha, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and, taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Our response to the Lord's word is, you are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters, but do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, Namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other 
so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'll get there. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the day came for Jesus being taken up for were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not be welcome. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But he answered him, let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, no one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good all, all the time. time and all the time. Yes. So I would like us to reflect today on call and mission. And I'm wondering whether uh, you have ever discovered how a symbolic or sign language differs from one culture to the other. I remember three and a half years ago uh, when, I, when I first arrived and it was my first week at St. Catherine in college. Uh, they knew that this, the new priest is coming, and people were excited uh, to, to see this new priest around, and uh, 
There at the parking lot, I, I, I used to meet so many people. And uh, they used to make this sign. <laughs> so everybody was making that sign. And, and as soon as they do that, then I, begin, I began walking towards them. And as, as I began walking towards them, they are moving away. <laughs> So after one week, I was wondering, what is happening? And I asked Father Ken, how comes uh, people are calling me and when I go towards them, they go away? <laughs> so I discovered that wh where I come from, uh, if you want to call somebody, you do like this, then they come. So like, if, like the kids, if I'm calling them, all of them will come. But to do this here means hi. <laughs> so I learned something. Uh, from today's uh, readings, the first reading, we see the, uh, the call of Elisha. Elijah had been sent to Elisha. And you see how dramatic it is. Elijah just throws his cloak on Elisha, who was very busy uh, working with his oxen. And he doesn't say anything. So it's very clear to uh, Elisha what that sign means. Come, follow me. And he tries to ask him, okay, uh, let me first go, go, and, uh, go and say bye. Say, uh, have I said anything? But he goes back and uh, abandons everything and goes to follow, uh, to serve the Lord. So the vocation story of the prophet Elisha invites us to detach ourselves from our past attachments. The mention of the 12 pairs of oxen shows that Elisha was a rich man at the time. And his action of slaughtering all the, uh, all the bulls, the 12 of them, shows a complete break from the past and his banquet to his fellow workers shows his joy in following the master, his joy, the joy of service. So he left everything and went to serve the Lord joyfully. From the gospel reading we see uh, the call of the three potential disciples of Jesus. One of them says, I will follow you wherever you go. But uh, Jesus tells him what that implies. Foxes have uh, dens and birds have nests, but the son of man does not have a place to lay his head. Then the other one says, <clears throat> he tells the other one, come follow me. Actually, the, the next two, come follow me. And all of them say, I will follow you, but. So they, they give excuses. And Jesus finally says, no one puts, sets the hand on the plow and looks back. So the call of the, these three would-be disciples of Jesus throws light to my own prior, prioritizing God's call above our worldly concerns. They are expected to prioritize God's call above anything else, like burying their father, which was considered a, a holy act, a bidding farewell to their family, which was a temptation to, uh, to have a last look at their attachments, and to be ready to be in want total dependence on God. So what Jesus is saying is that none of those things can come ahead of me. So when Jesus calls us, we have to make that resolution to follow him wholeheartedly. And for sure, God is calling each and every one of us in one way or another to mission. 
if you look at uh, even at our parish line, we have so many ministries in the parish or in the church. God is calling us uh, to participate in anything or any, any ministry which we feel comfortable in. Also, being in the family is also another uh, vocational mission. But like the three potential disciples in the Gospel reading, we often give in to excuses and at times also discouragements. What are those excuses we try to give not to do the mission of, uh, of Christ? And what are those discouragements which might come between on our strife? We saw also Jesus on the way to Jerusalem to continue to, to do the will of the Father. But he was rejected by the Samaritans. But Jesus walked away from that rejection of the Samaritans and walked resolutely to Jerusalem. So we also need to do something like that. For our mission to be successful, which God has called us to, we need to walk away from any form of rejection or discouragements coming in between. At times we may need to walk away from arguments which may lead to anger on our mission. At times we walk away from anyone who does not see our work. At times we walk away from mistakes and fear so as to learn from them. The more we walk away from things that poison our souls and our mission, the healthier and happier we will be or will become in the service of the Lord. So let us walk away from sin and let us walk with Jesus who has invited us to be part of his mission. Every, uh, every time we come uh, for Mass, he invites us, he fills us with his, uh, his word here, and then fills us with his body and, and blood, and then commissions us, go forth and proclaim the gospel by your lives, or go, and serve the, uh, go forth and serve the Lord. Let us not allow anything to come in between the call and the mission which Jesus has called upon us. I remember when we were little, we used to sing at our Sunday school. There is this song which is very famous for the kids. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. I'll make you sing today one chorus after me. So as we reflect on our call and mission, let us implore the Blessed Virgin Mary to accompany us with her motherly love and prayers. And uh, like her, may our whole
only resolve be, I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten and not made, unsubstantial to the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, and the Son of the Holy Spirit, and the For our sake, he was crucified and punished by life. He suffered the death and was buried, and rose on the day and on the day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Holy Life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son and the Lord of Jesus Christ, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one of our actions and for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us now present our prayers and our petitions to the Lord. For Pope Francis, church leaders, and those searching for a more meaningful faith life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, for an end to war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, those in our hospitals and nursing facilities, and all caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the poor, those without adequate food, shelter, or gas, for caseworkers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister diocese, our sister parish, and our St. Ambrose Parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, especially the benefactors of our parish, those in our book of intentions, and those calling into our prayer line, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Gary Melvin, brother-in-law of Marilyn Thornburg, who passed away this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Joanne Johnson and Mike Gazi, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now ask the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us now present our petition. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing number 385, The Summons.
sacrifice and you ones may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give to Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to you, your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall, uh, downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray 
that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph has passed, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Ambrose, and all the saints who have lived you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you on this. Amen. Let us offer each other the same peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I don't know say the
The Peter's Pence Collection is this weekend. Thank you for your generosity. Don't miss out. 
If you would like to sponsor a hole, either for your business or in memory of a family member in our first annual golf tournament on July 16th, please call the office. Next Thursday, June 30th, is the deadline for registration for this fun event. Forms are in the vestibule. Come out and play with us. To RSVP for Monsignor Mike's Golden Jubilee celebration on August 13th at St. Joe's, please see the book in the vestibule. Thank you and have a great week. Thank you very much. So just one thing. You remember last, uh, during the pandemic, uh, we, we used to say that uh, remain standing to receive communion and we used to come to the pews. And because of that, we continue keeping the tradition of not kneeling after the Lamb of God. So I think it's, it is now time we, we go back to the tradition, right? So af after the Lamb of God, when we sing the Lamb of God, uh, we need our receipt before the priest does uh, the elevate and say, this is the Lamb of God. So I just wanted to remind you that maybe from next week we can go back to our old tradition. Thank you very much. Let us stand. <clears throat> Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have off we've offered and received fill us with light, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And may I go in peace. Thanks, Thanks. Be Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 521, The Wondrous News.